So today we've got our tribute to Nicholas Simmons fish and we start with masking everything off and then pulling down this wash with mostly turquoise and a little bit of lemon yellow mixed in to green it a bit. And then I start pulling in some of the rose, make it a little more purple. That was a little bit too dulled down. But here I've got the French ultramarine and the turquoise and a little bit of rose. And then I shift it to more purple as it goes down. And then you can give it a little spray, but make sure that your colors are intense enough to begin with because once you start adding more water, it'll wash off all your color. So I start out pretty intense to begin with. Here I'm letting the drips kind of form and let some blossoms happen, hopefully. And then I slash in a couple oranges and splatter here and there. Drip in some more orange and increase the intensity, let it bleed out. So I'm just flicking in a little more purple because my color wasn't as intense as I wanted it to be in the bottom. And while it's still wet, you can keep flicking color into it. And then swirl things around, let gravity move it for you. Now I've got just the raw sepia and I'm going around the edges where I mask things off and I'm giving it a spray where it's dry so that it flares out a little bit and gives me that smoky look. Once you've got everything outlined with your dark, let it soak in for a little bit and flare out into the, <clears throat> into the watery areas. You get some soft edges, and then you can dry it all the way once it's done doing its magic. Now I'm all the way dry and I'm adding in these drips going across the page, making them like little veins connecting here and there. And they're all traveling in the same diagonal direction as the wash.
you can get them a little more intense towards the bottom so they're more dark to match the value. One last drip, and then uh, go ahead and dry it all the way again. So before you take off your masking fluid, wipe off some of that paint that's on there so you don't rub it into the white paper and then just carefully remove all the masking. Now I start shading the bottom fish, make him a little bit gray so that it pushes him down underneath the other fish, make him a little bit deeper. I'm adding a little more shading around the edges so he looks 3D. And you just start dotting in some of the gold. And this is all wet, so there's all soft edges. And into the gold, I'm adding some kind of brown mix by adding a little bit of the rose and French ultramarine. And if it starts to dry, just give it some spray. Add a little more dark into there to make it look like a fin on top. And then dry it all the way and put his eyes on. Now you can start wetting the other fish. And I still put a little bit of blue around the outer edges so that he's a little more 3D. And on this one, I'll make the colors a little bit brighter since he's closer to the surface. So. Instead of making it brown by adding the blue, I'm just putting in the rose into the gold.
and touch in just a couple a little bit of darks, dry it and add the eyes. And then you can start putting in the green into your seaweed and that is mostly lemon yellow with just a touch of the turquoise. And then you can add a couple blobs of orange in there too just to keep your harmony and break up the green a little bit. And just so I can move quickly, I'm using two brushes. I've got one brush for the green and one brush for the orange so that I don't have to completely clean my brush in between and I can move fast while everything's wet. And then at the end, just add some sprinkles of white dots with the white gouache and the toothbrush and mop up any that become too big. And there you have it. Ta-da!